This is Havilar's Maldorki Iron Ore Project. We've drilled about 60 reverse circulation holes here and four diamond drill holes and uh, established uh, an indicated resource of almost 150 million tonnes of 30% iron. Now our um, modelling work on this uh, drilling shows that uh, underneath us here we have a 100 metre thick uh, flat slab of massive iron ore. And one of the really good things about Maldorki is that it outcrops on the surface and uh, one can take a, take a rock sample and I say it, it runs about 40% iron. At this location we're standing almost in the centre of the stage one open pit mine design. This is a very efficient design because there's practically no overburden as you can see from the outcrop here and there is minimal waste. Our mining lease proposal is based on a five to six year mine plan uh, based on this stage one open pit. Uh, Maldorki is a new iron ore discovery in the uh, Braemar iron ore province of North East and South Australia. There have been numerous iron ore discoveries here over the last few years and uh, like Havilah's Maldorki discovery, uh, they've mostly been found by drilling prominent magnetic anomalies. With the aid of Vulcan 3D software, we've used our drilling data to outline the shape of the uh, Maldorki iron ore deposit. It's essentially a large, thick slab of iron ore, up to 120 metres thick. And uh, it has very little internal waste or overburden. We've been able to design a very efficient open pit with a low waste to ore ratio, which makes Maldorki a profitable operation at the current iron ore prices. Now this is a typical sample of our Maldorki iron ore. It's running about 40% iron, and the rock looks very hard, but in fact it uh, grinds and crushes quite easily. And we've found that by comparatively simple gravity processes, uh, we can upgrade it to a, a very saleable product containing 63% iron and very low levels of impurity elements. This is the site of the old uh, Radium Hill uranium mine, or what's left of it. Uh, you can see the concrete ore bins over there. And the main shaft was in front of that rectangular building. Radium Hill was worked uh, in the 1950s and it was quite a, an iconic mine in the history of South Australia. A lot of professional people worked here, were trained here, many families uh, lived here and kids grew up here. And uh, the ore was processed to a certain degree on site and that's the tailings dam. And the concentrate they produced was railed up to Kutna and then uh, railed out to Port Perry where the final processing was done to produce uranium. Fast forward to 2013 and uh, Havilar has discovered a major iron ore deposit in the hills to the south here uh, at Maldorki. And uh, Havilar proposes to develop that mine over the next two years and the iron ore will be treated, upgraded on site and then hauled by road train uh, along this same Radium Hill rail corridor up to the main transcontinental railway line before being uh, transported down to Port Adelaide for shipment. This is the old um, uh, route of the railway line uh, from Kutna to Radium Hill, as you can see from the embankment behind me. Now, we're going to actually use this same uh, uh, corridor uh, because it's nice, flat, even terrain to um, road train, haul all our ore up from Maldorki uh, down to the south here. This is uh, Kutna and it's the place where the uh, rail line from Radium Hill actually come off the main transcontinental line, which is just here in the, the background. Kewton is the place where we propose to build a rail loop to load all our iron ore from Maldorki, which will come in from the south here, and join onto the main transcontinental rail line, which you see behind us here. And uh, that way is towards Adelaide and Port Piri, and this way is towards Broken Hill. This is a heavy duty, underutilised railway line. It has at least 4 million tonne of uh, capacity to carry our iron ore uh, down to Port Adelaide. So to build the uh, rail loop, it's about 4 kilometres, we'll have to build it off of this line. And um, as luck would, would have it, uh, the ARTC has recently uh, uh, replaced all the, the rail on the transcontinental line here. And you can see down there the uh, 
some of the rail that they've they've pulled up from the the old line. So we've just purchased 10 kilometres of this railway line from the Australian Rail Track Corporation, and we're going to use it to build our rail loading loop here at Kootenai. And this is the route that we'll be hauling the iron ore up from Maldorki, and we'll have the big rail loading loop out here in the flat and uh, loaded onto the trucks, which will then go onto the main line. It so happens that the uh, haul road that we'll bring in, be bringing the ore up from Maldorki follows the route of the old Radium Hill railway line. And the railway line to Radium Hill actually went off right here at Kutana, and you can see the, the mounds and things over there, and that's, that's where the embankment was, and the line come off, and there was a siding here before. Thank you.